we are we have become a perverted society. Yeah. Where yeah. we allow things like transgenderism and critical race theory to run amok. Mm-hmm. And, and it is fundamentally because a loss of, of Christian faith in America. So I think a fundamental part of faith and religion, you know, in specific regards to Christians, is that they are doctrines based on the word of God. Yeah. Um, the left's kind of twisting of religion, they are doctrines based yeah. on the word of man. Um, mm-hmm. And that is wow. yeah, that's a great point. That is something that is that that's something that we've been headed towards for a while. It's something I've kind of been personally worried about. Um, and yeah, it, it's just one of those things where you know the left sees themselves as God. Yeah, and the kind of the point of no return for this is mm-hmm. that you know <laughs> you can't have Western society without Christianity. Like the idea that every person has inherent worth because they're made in the image of God, there is no way you can get there with just human rationality. Like you need the Bible to get to that conclusion. Outside of that, every individual is just seen as a collection of cells that has, you know, you're better at certain things and worse at others. And, you know, more intelligent people, stronger people, those would be, according to human rationality, those people would be more inherently valuable than people that don't have those things, than people with disabilities. And so, yeah. you know, I think the one way that we can really push against this, first, we need to get it out of the government. Yeah. We, yeah. we can't have the government yeah. pushing this stuff. But second, we need to hammer that point home, and we need to be, you know, Christianity is really a big answer here. And mm. a lot of people have been talking about how we need, like, a third great, I think it would be the third great awakening, I'm not sure. might be fourth, but <laughs> we need another great yes, awakening. Absolutely. We need to bring Christianity back in a big way. That would probably be one of the best ways we could kind of combat this. I, I saw a poll, I think it was yesterday, that less than 50% yep. of Americans now identify themselves as part of a church. Uh, or is it just I, a religion? I think, I think it's religion because I, so, yeah, I think I saw like just mosque, any religion. Yeah, okay, mosque so, and temple were part of the. So, so you think graph. there's even that means an even smaller percentage identify themselves as mm-hmm. Christians. Yeah, and I think that is an example of what has led us down the road to losing the moral society that America was founded on, the Christian beliefs that America was was founded on. We are we have become a perverted society. Yeah. Where yeah. we allow things like transgenderism and critical race theory to run amok, mm-hmm. and, and it is fundamentally because a loss of, of Christian faith in America. And we we crave religion, we yeah. crave spirituality. Right. And like, if you just look at, it's funny, you know, when when I wrote this article about kind of the First Amendment established clause and yeah. stuff, I read this essay from James Lindsay. He's a big mm. CRT critic, and he walked through kind of the parallels between the religious system of CRT and the religious system of Christianity. And it's like they're just trying to copy us without wow. Jesus, basically. So yeah. it's, you know, it's stunning. Um, followers are taught they must atone for their sins, which would be identity privileges. Mm. Oh, uh, that makes which, sense. And oh those, sins, those sins were born out of the fall, which would be historical injustices against minority groups. That's fascinating. Uh, so like, uh, atonement, what? there's two more things. Atonement for those followers can come through confession, which would be acknowledging one's privilege, and good works, which would be adopting social justice causes. So like, white privilege, then, is like acknowledging oh. your sins yes. as being a white person. Yeah. Well, I don't wow, that, that is... Yeah. Yeah. But that's stunning. I'd never thought of that before. Yeah. That's incredible.